Hey folks, it's good to be an American today. It's uh, the 19th of December, 2023. Uh, we've run into a cold snap here. Um, which is normal for this time of year, but uh, it's the first time I've really tasted this uh, last couple of days. All this is an update. I've been working over 90 hours a week and I just haven't had time to get out here to complete the job. I'll tell you what to choose a lot of time is uh, hand painting two coats and what I wanted to do initially was just put a re reflectivity or uh, what do you call it refraction I don't know no reflective uh, white surface behind these lights and then paint the rest of it later but while I was up there it's like hell I might as well just go on and paint as much as I can now and I'll get back with uh, the kills what was the other stuff is there yeah, it's both kills there was another one that I had uh, spray paint, um, two long cans, that did not work out. I ended up getting more paint on the floor than I did uh, anywhere else. And cans leaked like crazy. I must have been doing something wrong. Anyway. But, it, uh, yeah, it didn't work. It was uh, less than optimal. So, I've got half of it done. But most, uh, I've got all of the uh, the light backgrounds, uh, the vapor tights. I've got those all um the background's painted on that. This, I gotta roll this ladder out and get all that crap off. I got my copper rods to drive in the ground outside up there. I got, and to repaint that, that'll probably be one of the last things I do. Uh, but to that end, the progress is, is to wire next. Um, after I get this crap organized, uh, let me get back to that. This Kennedy kit, right here was in this corner here and I had so much crap piled up around you couldn't even see the heater that I had up there for the room um, that thing uh, is not functioning right now um, I can't remember if it's just because I don't have it wired up it's unplugged or if there's a problem with the rheostat or something I don't know but that's going to heat the garage as soon as I get up I'm going to have a dedicated uh, circuit for that um, my quote-unquote kiln circuit since they don't want you to have a heater in a detached garage uh, although this is kind of half-ass insulated uh, there's no insulation on that exposed wall this is another garage um, and this is a type of insulation because most of these are open rafter uh, most of these garages um, to that end I've got a compressor up here 70 uh, gallon volume uh, and that, so that worked out really well. And let me get back to this. All I have to do now is organize this crap that I've got. Most of that stuff is on top of this and on the floor. I've got for crying out loud. Along with all my battery tools now. I'm finding all my electric stuff. I'm finding uh, that it's going to be much easier when I can actually see something on my nail guns and pneumatic stuff. Uh, it, all makes, it all makes sense now. But all this crap's going to go away. This is going to be where I'm going to have a wire rack and my pack out system. All these shelves are going to go away. Um, I'll probably keep most of all this stuff because I'm using it all the time. All the lubes and the paints and got a little more kills here. So I was using... Um, that other stuff, I can't remember what it was. It was some other zinzer or something, yeah, and it sucked. It didn't work well. Got all that paint on the floor. So, anyway, um, yeah, instead of having my pack out system over there where all the rakes and shovels were, they used to be here. This is where the electric's going to go, and I made a decision not to document this install because I don't think it's wise. Um, I'm not an electrician, and it's there's really no point in it. I mean, it, there's a thousand videos on how to install a sub panel. You, know, you don't need another one. Just let it be known that I'm going to be coming through here. And all my stuff's going to be routed through this center. I'm not going to have, I'm going to keep my 125 amp uh, electric disconnect on the outside of this and have this all just exposed to all the slots in this. I can't remember how many. For some damn reason, I've got it in my mind. I'm going to do it, as you can see, what is that, uh, a 1224, so 
you know, at least 12 spaces for, um, but it's going to be split up, of course, between the, uh, the doubles for the, uh, 30 and 50 amp. I'm thinking about putting my welding and welding slash electric car 50 amp here and my 30 amp for my plasma right next to it on the ceiling opposed to trying to locate it you know um i'm gonna have to, i'm really working on that in my brain just taking it forward through conduit um of course that'll be a romex probably 10 gauge maybe even Eight or six gauge. I haven't decided yet because I'd rather go heavy and not worry about the heat. Because um, I got two gauge coming out to the 125 amp. So anyway, that's all down the road. The next thing is you can see I staggered these lights. The one light is in the middle of the bowling alley workbench. The other light is over the vise. I always need light over there. And it's kind of in front, so it's, I'm not going to have to worry about having my head over and making shadows. That was the reason I wanted to have two of these here, because I didn't want to have any cast shadows down on my working. And then I've always got this bad boy, too. So if I need it, that's 500 watts of halogen that I'll have on a cord. I don't know what they call it. Retractable cord. Um, anyway, to that end, I'm making a little bit of progress. I just wanted to give an update and, and say uh, I'm getting damn close to getting the final organization. I'll tell you what, I'm so glad I got that box. I don't know why I took that box off and put it over there. It was a stupid move. Um, and putting it back, I got the toolbox off of the wheels and because it's so heavy. Um, put it on some substantial. I've got a nice framing around it. Uh, so uh, guy at the work did that for me before I brought it home. So that's all good. That's all working out. Hi. There she is. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm ready to come in. All right. I'm going to pull the kerosene heater in here. And, uh, you want me to take it inside? No, i got fuel in it. I'll take care of it. Okay. I'll be in though. Anyway, that's the one that makes it all happen for us. Anyway, let me just stop there. I gotta go in tonight and uh, it'd be a good time to go grab a bite and try to chill a little bit. And uh, It looks pretty dumpy right now, but it's really straightening out. Believe me when I tell you that it's uh, it's no easy task. All this crap, it all makes sense. Got to keep this in the most. I was thinking about moving it forward. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do, but I got to keep that fire extinguisher readily handy. And I know me, that's in a position that it'll be blocked. So let me work on all those little stuff. Um, we'll get the lights hooked up. I'm going to have those two on a separate um, switch. I'm going to have these four on a separate switch. I'm going to have these two on a separate switch. And I'm going to have all the rest of them. These four. And this one over here. And I've got an extra one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I'd rather have it not need it than need it and not have it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't want to put it near the heater. Um, I don't know, maybe I could go back here as a third. No, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to do it. Probably it needs to go over here. But if I do that, I'll probably add two more. I think I'm allowed to have ten looped. Ten units looped together. So this would be four, five. So i got plenty of room on the switch. i got the zero to ten volt dimmers. And I've got to consider that. So anyway, i got all these plates spinning. Let me uh, get off of here. Let me thank you all for coming back to visit my little ordeal here. And uh, I hope you come back and support me and tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'm going to put that 5 amp garage door and my switch to the lights for my uh, LEDs upstairs and the uh, fans I've got to cool off the... Uh, the uh, copper tubing for my 
cooling of the compressed air. Got a couple of crap fans I went there. So that's a 15 amp, this is a 5 amp motor. And I've got a 15 amp metal receptacle and I'm going to put it here. Well, the problem is this, this is the live line that feeds everything. So you see all this junk, man. It's just crazy. Just, my dad didn't give a shit about, he knows. He knows about surges. He knows about all this stuff. He knows that there's nothing on lights. But uh, we've been running everything out here on 15 amp. <laughs> it's nuts, man. Uh, um, until I brought the 10 gauge out here to run the uh, 220 motor and stuff. Anyway, all that stuff is going to be fixed. We're going to make it right. And uh, I'm going to uh, count on your support. Just knowing you're there helps. So let me get in here and spend time with my little wife. And, uh, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for joining. Bye.